Hi guys, so for today's video, we're going to do a tutorial for a crochet bandana. So Hi guys, so welcome back for today's video. Um, let's do a tutorial of uh, the crochet bandana that I have on the shop. So we've been needing in the fill yarn a four millimeter hook, a scissor, and a needle just for weaving in the ends. So let's begin with a slip stitch and let's chain four. One, two, three, four. And the beginning chain here, the very first chain, we do a double crochet. So one double crochet, again in the same space, we do one more double crochet. So, and then chain one, and then we do three double crochet. So one, two, three. All of this is in just one space here, the first chain. So we did um, two double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. So that's round one. Turn your project over. And chain three, chain three, and then do a double crochet in here in the beginning on the top of the double crochet. So do two double crochet, two double crochet, okay, and then do three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. In he, this chain space here. So we do one, two, three, chain one, three more double crochet. One, two, As you can see, you have three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet in that same space. Then on the top of the chain here, you insert your hook and you will make two, a uh, three double crochet. So one, two, three. That's the round two. We're moving on to round three. Turn your work and chain three. Do the same here at the first one. First stitch, we do two double crochet. And then in the here, the space in here, Insert your hook and do three double crochet. One, two, three. In here, in, in the space in the middle, you do three double crochet. One, two, three. Chain one. One, two, three. So all the one in the middle will have a three double crochet, chain one and three double crochet. While on the side part, we only do in every like space in between, we do a three double crochet. So in here, we do a three double crochet. Mm -hmm. 
and then here on the top of the chain three insert our hook and we make three double crochet now we are done with round three now for round four we turn our project and work with chain three and in this space in the beginning space we do two double crochet we will make three double crochet in this space and three double crochet in this space as well one two three one two three Okay, for the middle part, we will do three double crochet, chain one, and three double crochet in the chain space. Three double crochet in the space here and three double crochet in the space here. And then three double crochet in the top of the chain here and two three so that's round four as you can see that's our progress so we go to the round five we turn our work chain three do double crochet in this space here at the beginning. Do double crochet. There will be three sets of double, triple, three double crochet in here. One, two, three. So we will do a three of three. So make it one. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And of course, in the middle, we will do three double crochet. Sing a chain and a three double crochet in the chain space. One, two, three, chain one, one, two, three, and we will repeat. The one we did here, this three, we will also do three. So in this space here, we have three double crochet, three double crochet, three double crochet. Three, 
and two, three, and then on the top of the chain, remember in the beginning we have three chain, right? We chain one, two, three. On this top chain, we will insert our hook, insert our hook, and we will make the three double crochet in that same space. So that is around five. So we're in round five. We're finished. And we will do, we just repeat the process here until we reach round 15. So all we have to do is always put it's all so this it start the same way and we just put the double crochet three double crochet in each space except for the middle one we will do a three double crochet a chain one and a three double crochet so that's all a repeat and they will like increase increase and be bigger so we'll get back to you with the progress but this is round five i'll do Round six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'll check. I'll get back to you again later. We're in the end of the round six. Round six. Okay, we're almost done with round seven. This will be the last three double crochet. This is round seven. Going to round eight. Okay, that's three double crochet for the round eight. So this is what it looked like when we are able to finish round 8. Go to round 9. Okay, for it, we already finished 10 rounds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is how it look like. And we still have 5 more. So let's get back to work. Okay guys, so we finished around 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now we're doing 70 chains. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This will be the strap and then we will do a slip stitch in all this chain. So we will do a 70 slip stitch. So we skip, we, got, we do it in the second chain, insert your hook, insert the two. So we will do 70 slip stitch in every chain.
Next. Pagkatapos ko. Okay, for the next step, after we did the slip stitch, we will count one, two, three. On the third stitch, insert our hook and we make five double crochet so one two three four five double crochet and then skip one, two, skip two stitch, and the third one, we will do a slip stitch. Okay. We do five double crochet again, so we like skip two stitch, one, two, insert your hook on the third one, and do a five double crochet. This will be the edging. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, double crochet, and then skip again two, one, two, and the third one, do a slip stitch. And we will repeat that around here. And I'll get back to them, what we will do in this part. Okay, now we're in this part. So what we will do is skip again two. So one, two, on the third one, do four double crochet. So one, Two, three, four double crochet, chain three, chain three, and then on the top of this double crochet in this one, this part, we insert our hook and we do a slip stitch, and then we yarn over. Insert the hook to the chain one on the top and do four double crochet again. So one, two, three, four double crochet and then skip two, one, two and then slip stitch. And then we repeat what we've done here on this side. So that will be skip two, insert your hook on the third chain and the third space, and then do a five double crochet. So on three, four, five double crochet, skip two. Insert your hook on the third one and do a slip stitch. So we will just repeat the one. We, we will do the same. This one, we also do the same in this part. So I'll get back to when we're in here. Okay, we're near the end. Just going to do five double crochet in this one. Five 
and then slip stitch on the top of the chain here to the last part just slip stitch and then chain 71 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 17 18 19 and same as what we did in this strap, we also do the slip stitch. So in the second chain, do your slip stitch and do 70 slip stitch in every chain. So let's do, seven, and do a slip stitch in every chain. So total of 70 slip stitch. This will be the strap that we will tie in and enable our neck. And for the next. And I'll come back to you when we're here at the end of this chain. Okay, so we're here and finished in the slip stitch. So one more slip stitch here and the last chain and then slip stitch again. in the chain above so we will do same like in here for the edging but we will insert here in this space you have the space here space here space here space here. so first one I do sample we do five double crochet in this space Two, three, four, five, double crochet, and then on this space right here, we will do a slip stitch. And then on this space here, we will do five double crochet. One, two, three, four, five double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and then on the next space we do a slip stitch and we will repeat the process of five double crochet and a and then slip stitch and then five double crochet and then slip stitch and then five double crochet and then slip stitch in every space here. So here we will do slip stitch, here is five double crochet, slip stitch, five double crochet, slip stitch. And then until we reach here. So I'll get back to you and when we reach in that part. Okay, we're almost done. So what we're going to do, we're in the end here, right? So we just do a slip stitch in here at the beginning. Just slip stitch and then we got our yarn. And then we will pull. Pull. And we will just weave in the ends. So we get a needle here. Get our needle. And 
we will just weave in the ends and after that it's all finished and done so we're almost there so done the first end we will do the second and Just weaving the ends so that it will be nice and secure. And then cut. And that is okay guys. So that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed and learned something. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.